All right, I am joined now by Miss Jane Reger with Successful Connections. How are you doing today? I'm good. Yeah, no, it's uh, so okay. If anyone doesn't know what Successful Connections are, do you mind sharing kind of what the core is of Successful Connections this mm -hmm. morning? Yeah, I kind of look at it as we are the resource ladies. Um, oh, we wonderful. make sure all <laughs> pregnant moms or moms who've recently had babies make sure that they have all the resources in the community, like WIC, Diaper Depot, Dolly Parton yeah. Imagination Library, those things. And we partner with a lot of people in the community, like the Lincoln Centers and St. Francis Women's Center. Mm -hmm. We get all of our prenatals from them, so that we call up the mom and <clears throat> oh, excuse me and just make sure check in with them and make sure that they know that everything's there our ultimate goal is to get them connected to home visitation programs Wonderful. which we, there's parents as teachers it's been around forever and ever and then there's like nurse family partnership first steps there's quite a few of them so we kind of guide our moms through letting it like what are your needs what are you wanting um, and then pick out the best home visitation program for them Wonderful. Um, and then we also go to the hospitals every day and just kind of do the same thing check in and okay. make sure with them um, and we just recently, as of two weeks ago, are we are now on the mission. So oh, we work with all oh, the great. children okay. under the age of three and make sure that um, they are completely connected with services. Um, the home visitation programs are so good about making sure that all the kids make their milestones. Of course, yeah. And if they don't, then they can like guide these parents through, you know, let's go here, let's try this, and it really helps out tremendously. Yeah. Um, and then we also hand out packets to all okay. of our moms, um, especially at the hospital, because this Wonderful. way they've just had a baby Do you mind if I see yeah. It? yeah um they've just had a baby in the last 24 hours so it's not like they haven't been busy mm -hmm. um but this kind of gives them hard copies of all the I resources love this little blanket too. and we do <laughs> cuddle blankets and it's a great icebreaker for yeah. us because we also work with moms that maybe test a positive for drugs and things like that so we have okay. to figure out some kind of icebreaker plus for a lot of our this. kids this is their first and only little blanket yeah. And they'll use them throughout their, like, when they're little kids as cuddle blankets. Oh, I was a blankie kid. I, <laughs> I still have my blankie. So, yes, yeah. I understand. Yeah. Well, and we go through about 800 of these a year. Wow. And every single one of them are made by members of our community. Oh, how wonderful. So, so they're, they, have, they have heart. They have love. Yes. They're made with, you know, people's hands that live right next door to you in right. the community here. Right. So this is, exactly. I mean, it's. Wow. So this is, it's something that you guys hand to all those new mothers. Right. So that they have that, um, you know. That's something to give to their babies right away, yeah, right? Yeah, and we let them pick out which blanket they like the best. And I think it just, and it gives us kind of a way to start talking to these moms yeah. about sometimes tough topics and yeah. things like that. And also we want to make sure that Shawnee County is really a great community as far as helping each yeah. other out. And that's what we're there for. Of so, course. Yeah. And then also we're always looking for volunteers to make the I cuddle was blankets. I just about to ask, <laughs> who in the world is making these cuddle blankets yeah. all day long? That's well, wonderful. Well, we have some organizations, but I would say the majority of them are just our community. Um, just people calling up and saying, we have one person that every month she comes and uh, she picks up 10, uh, we, we cut the material. Okay, perfect. Um, and so every month she picks up 10 blankets and then every month she brings 10 completely finished oh, and so like if we even have five people that do that that's 50 blankets a month Wow. Yeah, and so. that will they will and as you said they will immediately get passed out. Yes. I mean these aren't just sitting out around in, in a warehouse They're getting handed out immediately yeah. to these families. We make around a hundred packets a month. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow Okay, yeah. and you know, so if I want to go ahead and, and volunteer, how do I go about doing that? Well, you can give us a call at 785-357-5171 or they can do successful connections at um, east.ks.childcareaware.org. Is there any ways, uh, you know, I know I, I read on your website you have lunch and learns, things like that. Is there other ways uh, for families to get involved with yes. you guys as well? Uh, so our lunch and learns, we like to bring in the community. Um, and what we think about, like, what would a mom like to know or what's going on in the community that could be helpful for a mom or a home visitor? Um, and so we started off where that we'd have, like, maybe 10 people that would show mm -hmm. up on our lunch and learns. We now have between 80 and 100 people. So oh. I know. So <laughs> we were going to go. There. I know. We were going to go back to, like, in person and then we thought no that's going to take away so it's all virtual so, so you can serve more people right, right. it's okay. 12 to 1 the first thursday of every month so anybody is welcome to view it um and we have some great topics um and also like uh this one that's coming up it's about learning about um family servants and guidance their new center wonderful um and there's a part of that and also their parenting classes that they have over there they're going to be talking about that as well that's going to be great and, yeah. and, and people can find more information about that on your website correct? yes 
to. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Well, hey, and 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 I'm sure that you're going to be handing out a lot of these come holiday season. So hopefully people can get out there and volunteer and and get as much as you guys can made. Exactly. And even people who don't want to make them, if you're in the like, if you're out shopping and you see yeah. fleece on sale, pick up some fleece. Um, it's great if you get great. four yards of the um, printed and then four yards of the plain. We can get the most blankets out of the four yard section. Great. We will take anything, but usually if you keep it even, like two yards or four yards, something like that, and just drop it by, we would be more than happy to cut it up and pass it on to people that want to uh, tie. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. so if you if you maybe, you know, your hands have arthritis in your mm -hmm. hands, you can't not like that or things, you know, maybe it's just not, you're not super artsy like me, <laughs> you can always help out still by still contributing and, and getting that fabric for you guys, right? Exactly. All right. Exactly. Well, and, and we can drop it off to the location that yeah. you, okay, perfect, yeah. if, if, yeah. That, if need be. All right. All you right. can drop it off. Um, and um, and then also, if you know some moms that just might need a little extra help in the community, tell them to give us a call. We always are willing to help out. Wonderful. Well, Jane, yeah. thank you so much for coming on today. Sure. I love that little elephant blanket. Whoever <laughs> gets it is going to be a very lucky girl or guy. And uh, we're just very thankful for what you do in the community. Thank you. Of Thanks course. for having us. Yeah. We'll have